Alright guys, welcome back to your 39th tutorial in CSS and in this tutorial I'm going to teach you guys how to automatically set the maximum width and maximum height of images or actually any elements using CSS. Now I said images because that's what most commonly you apply it to. Um, for example, why would you want to set the maximum height of something if you can just automatically size it using XHTML or you know some photo editing software? Why do you need to explicitly tell CSS that you need a maximum height for an image? Well, for example, say you're doing this. Say you're making a website that you're later wanting to turn into your blog or something, and you're always copying uh, images from other websites and posting it on your website. First of all, I'm pretty sure that's illegal, so don't do it. But <laughs> other than that, the sizes are always different, and you're always getting pretty much random pictures and putting on your website so therefore if you don't want to always have to go into your photo editing program and resize everything you can just tell CSS this is the size that I want this image to be and aside from that another example that's probably an even better example if you ever went to eBay everyone always uploads photos of all their items and they're all different sizes different types but when eBay displays them on their main page they're all the nice little same size thumbnail so in order to get all a bunch of different photos the same size you need to give it a kind of guideline so let's go ahead and first and by the way I'm gonna be working with images in this tutorial but you can be working with any element you want so anyways I'm gonna go ahead and use three images that I have on my computer source equals my face dot ping and let's just go ahead and copy this and paste it down here twice and my face dot ping and aside from that I have one called madden one dot jpeg and lastly I have cell dot jpeg so now let's go ahead and save this and see what beautiful website we got whoa hey mama I mean my face is a pretty good size for this but scroll down here whoa mama I'm gonna have to scroll all over to see this big whopping tomping thing and also jeez louise that is one big seller right there so say <laughs> say I was selling my face and Madden for Xbox and also a sell of my body on eBay well this thing just isn't gonna work so here's what I would need to do in order to set a maximum size for, for all images on your web page, here's what you need to do. Go ahead and type image as your element, then as your rules, the first property that we're going to alter is max minus height. And now for the value, go ahead and put a pixel size. So for example, 200 pixels would be appropriate. And then under this, might as well set a max width while we're here, max width and might as well make this one 200 pixels too. Why the heck not? So now, what we're telling our browser is this. All right, if you have any image that's taller than 200 pixels, shrink it down to 200 pixels. If you have any image that's fatter than 200 pixels, skinny it up to 200 pixels. And we do this so the big images fit nicely on our small web page. So now let's go ahead and save this and see what happens it took all those images that were bigger and it shrunk them down so they nicely fit or fit nicely if you prefer that on our web page so pretty cool it kept the same you know aspect ratio and that is what we got so aside from that another thing um, you can use this too but it's not as commonly used is actually min width and min height and I don't even have to tell you what go those do so uh, you know but anyways the only times uh, actually never use those the only really rule I ever use is max height and max width and I do this a lot whenever I'm like uh, like if I made an auction website for someone I would take all their images and shrink them down in the thumbnails so all the websites look the same or if you made a website like Facebook or something where everyone was uploading huge images the size of billboards then you might want to shrink it you know to fit it on their nice profile picture so anyways that is the idea behind max height and max width is very easy to understand and there's your example and don't forget you can use this with all elements not only images uh, with tables and you know other stuff too so anyways thank you guys for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video